My father passed away when I was five. Prior to that, he would get up to go to the bathroom and he would come back and sit in his easy chair and he would not be able to find me because I was sitting behind his easy chair drinking his Pabst and I was probably three years old. Oh, I started about 14. We snuck some into a school dance. Uh, 14 is when I started drinking, I think. Have I ever drank any alcohol before? I don't know, have I? I have at least one cocktail a day, every day. Uh, my father, he was actually a really big drinker. Um, I think my first drink, I snuck into his brandy cabinet and I had like a few shots, a few shots worth of brandy and I was feeling pretty drunk. It varies, I go anywhere from like beer two every day when I come home from work to nothing at all and then just a little bit on the weekends or this is very, it's really cyclical. Oh, that's a loaded question. Uh, I guess it depends on the day and the situation. Uh, today, I mean, it's already pretty late. I'm only, this is like my fourth beer. Oh, uh, once or twice a week, and I usually have three to five. Between two and four. I'd say between two and three. My dad was not a regular drinker around the house. Um, I developed my drinking habits and tendencies as I got older in my late teen college years and then moving through adulthood. People know us for it in other states, so it's kind of like a big thing, you know. Like it seems like a good like eight out of 10 at least people drink steadily, whether it just be a few beers here and there, or like to drink, you know, go out and like if you look at the square here, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bars just down the square. So I mean, that's just Stephen's point. So I mean, that kind of says a lot, I would think. Yeah, well, I'm up here visiting Stephen's point because I'm playing in, in a uh, salsa band. In fact, I just decided to take a little walk down and see, and I can't even remember the bar I was in last year because they all look kind of, there's a lot of them. It's uh, pretty ridiculous. I mean, I drink a lot, but it's, uh, let's just say it's, it's pretty nasty down here sometimes. I think it's a social norm here. I was gonna say, yeah, I think it's just something that's like, it's almost like passed down. We have so many breweries, we have so much German heritage, like. Right, yeah. Just our, our local culture, um, Green Bay Packer games and, um, everything we do is drinking. The stereotypical uh, situation is you would sit at the bar and order a drink and they bring you a menu and you actually order your meal so that you can sit and drink until dinner's ready and then you're seated at a table. Interesting because the influx of immigrants that came to this area and the college culture and just the weather I think all contribute and make a, kind of an environment that just makes everybody just want to get completely obliterated all the time. <laughs> you know, there is a reputation that Wisconsin has, you know, that maybe it's because of, what the heck was that? Is it coin? There's coins rolling by. That's probably a drinking game going on somewhere. Probably mostly tradition. Like. I know a lot of people who just grew up in bars and that's kind of what you do. You know, I grew up in a tavern and I drank a lot of pop and ate a lot of candy bars, but it wasn't until 12 years old when I started drinking tap beer. Um, for the 25 years that I was sober, I was also a volunteer firefighter. Volunteer firefighter. I've spent way too many hours cutting kids like you out of cars. Stevens Point, in my opinion, with their parking restrictions, is doing nothing but condemning kids to getting hurt. 2015, there was somebody getting their 16th DUI. 
I knew a guy that got 14 DWIs. Two DUIs. Oh yeah. I have. He has. He has somewhere over there, wherever he went. My son got a DUI. Um, oh my goodness. I know lots of people who have, who have driven under the influence who didn't get caught. Probably should have. That's a yeah. problem. It's a big problem, especially compared to, like I know in Texas, like where a lot of my family lives, it's like if you're caught once, there's like really big consequences, so much less like two and three times, like you can go to prison. So it's like very different compared to here, where it's really more relaxed. I even, I know someone personally who had five DUIs. I mean, that's, it's way out of control. Yeah. <laughs> I live here in the square. I can literally watch all the drunk people get in their cars and drive away every single night. Everybody as an individual has their own reasons for drinking. Uh, it may be to loosen inhibitions or, uh, you know, moral restrictions, uh, it could be to escape things. Uh, I, I think drinking becomes a crutch for a lot of people.